Salam dear friends, thank you so much for being here again. Uh, in today's video I'm also uh, going for an art journal page. Uh, now I only have a, um, a word of wisdom in my mind that I, I want to express it here. Um, and as always, or like as most of the time, we just I just start and go with the flow and let's see what I will come up with. So the first thing I started is uh, I just saw the page over here and what I did is to give it some texture after applying the gesso while it's still wet on both pages both, both pages I went ahead and I stuck them both together and then I peeled them off I just left it to dry like that and it gave it this nice texture and let's hope you can see it's, it's very nice and interesting and let's see how it will affect the outcome of the page now the only thing I know that I want that uh, that I want to go for is the word of wisdom in my mind, and that I'm going to use again these uh, water soluble uh, pastel colors again from Daiso that I mentioned earlier. And uh, I also know that I want to go for uh, blues mainly because in my art journal I really use uh, blue, quite rare, mainly greens and all those colors. So maybe I'm going for some blue. I'm, I'm not sure if I add something else and I know that I want to use these uh, stamps finally yay I have some rubber stamps I, actually I have a big bunch of rubber uh, stamps now I got all of these from uh, this stash hole here on YouTube and now I, uh, I it's time for me to start using them so I want to use this one it's from uh, Brenda Walton or Walter I'm not sure Inca, ah, uh, Inca, ding, ah, uh, Inca, dinka, do. Yeah, I hear people saying this here on YouTube. Yeah, so I'm, I want to use these, and uh, I want to add some journaling spots. So I'm not sure which one among these I'll be using. Maybe one of these stamps over here. Again, I'm not pretty sure. Though I love this owl, but I'm not going for any animals. Hmm? You never know. I might change my mind later on. But I like this uh, journal spots here. So I will start with the background first and then we will see where I'll be going. So these are the colors I'm going for. Two shades of blue and this reddish orange and this yellow color. And um, as always, I like to test first, this is an advice, if you're not an expert like myself, I'm only a beginner, if you are such a person. Or if you are using a new uh, product that you are not familiar with, of course you have to always go ahead and try it first. This is not the best, <laughs> of course, experiment, <laughs> but I know that I already tested what I want to test. So always uh, test it before or beforehand. I'm using only a little bit of water and I have my tea <laughs> over here. And let's get started. So this is the uh, finished uh, background, now time to start stamping. So I think I figured out how I wanted to go. So I'll just draw the outlines of this. As 
I decided this one to go. See, I overthink. <laughs> it has to be more of a relaxing thing, but. I think this looks good the way like this. So now before I start writing, I will go ahead and stamp these. Now I don't want them to be uh, stamped like really bl dark black. Let's hope <laughs> I will not ruin the whole thing.
now uh, this page is what I thought it was done but then I found that it's like this the, uh, the say of wisdom is all gone and blended with the background since I used lots of black stamping all around especially these words so as you can see I went ahead and started erasing some of those 